Yo, what's going on guys? It's G-Miners here. It has been a long time since I made a video like this, but we got some pretty massive updates with Guardian Games and the mid-season patch this week, if it's even considered the mid-season patch. And one of those changes really shifted the meta, which if you guys couldn't tell by the thumbnail and the title, Cataphract is insane now and better than pretty much every other heavy option in the game. Grenade launchers received a massive reserve buff, which naturally increased their total damage output a lot. In previous seasons, GLs would tend to lack behind things like rockets and linears because they just didn't have enough ammo to compete, even though they still offered solid DPS. Now things like Cataphract can hold up to 29 rounds, Caraxis can hold 35, and even things like Anarchy is back to where it once was with a 23 round base capacity and a 29 round max. Starting this video off, I wanted to test and compare the base damage that some of our heavy GL options deal against bosses. I use this Lost Sector boss to compare values, where you guys can see that Cataphract at base is going to be hitting for around 42.8 thousand damage, and then with Bait and Switch proc this is now 55.3 thousand. Graxis is actually significantly worse with a base grenade hitting for 34.5 thousand, which is then increased to 49.5 thousand when surrounded. Keep in mind, this is also enhanced surrounded, so it's going to be higher than your base surrounded if you don't have a crafted roll. The brand new Hullabaloo Waveframe GL also hits for around 42,000 at base, which is right where Cataphract is, but with its best damage perk being Vorpal Weapon, right now, this is only going to offer a 10% increase up to 46.2 thousand. So right now, I don't think Waveframe Heavy GLs can really compete. And then finally, comparing this to Apex Predator, Apex is going to be hitting for 95,000 at base. Then with bait and switch, this goes all the way up to 123,000. And then do keep in mind, Wolfpack rounds also affect rockets. So both the base and the bait and switch shots with Wolfpack rounds are also going to be shown on screen now, where Apex caps out at around 166,000 damage per rocket. If you end up doing the math with the max reserve size values, Cataphract with 29 total shots now has 1.6 million total damage. Caraxis with 35 shots now has 1.73 million damage, and then Apex lacks behind both of these with only 1.49 million. I would argue no matter how you look at it, GLs are much more superior to rockets when it comes to total damage output. Keep in mind too, that these values are assuming all Wolfpack rounds hit. That's usually never the case. So if any Wolfpack rounds hit immune or they track to an ad or anything like that, that just makes rockets worse. You do also need to have somebody on galley to optimize your damage when using rockets in a team setting. On GLs, this isn't the case. So when calculated into a six man setting, that is even more damage output than rockets. And then finally, missing one rocket is going to have a way bigger penalty than missing a grenade from a GL will. So I think just for total damage output, it's pretty clear to see that GLs are better and they're safer to use. When it comes to DPS or how quickly GLs deal damage versus rockets, I think the two main things to compare are spamming and then swap rotations, since they're the two most common DPS methods with these weapons. When it comes to spamming rotations, taking a look at Cataphract with Envious Assassin, Spike Grenades, and Bait and Switch, we were able to get off roughly 1.8 million damage against the Ogre. This was almost the entire reserves at 28 total shots, and we also got it off in just 21.77 seconds, which means our average DPS value would have been 82.8 thousand damage per second. Also keep in mind here, I didn't proc bait and switch for the second mag I shot, so this could have been a little bit better. Spamming Apex, on the other hand, I ended up using Reign of Fire and some normal reloads. This dealt 1.6 million damage roughly in around 20.47 seconds, which gives a DPS value of just 78,000. Now obviously rocket spamming can be super optimized. Using Cold Comfort, Radiant Dance Machines, Sixth Coyote, Heat Rises with Reign of Fire, and all types of other things could have made this better. So I definitely would take this with a grain of salt and understand that in certain situations, especially where RDMs may be usable, those are gonna be way better for spamming. Swap rotations, on the other hand, I think it's pretty clear GLs are winners. Cataphract, Izzy, and a special grenade launcher put out 2.38 million damage. This took us only 26.45 seconds, which means our DPS reached 90,000, which is nuts. Also, on this auto-loading roll, I did have augmented drum rather than spike grenades, which is great for a larger magazine size where spike nades are no longer needed. Then doing the exact same rotation on Apex with Izzy and the same special GL, 
we dealt just under 2.1 million damage. This still took around 25.8 seconds, giving a DPS value of 80.6 thousand. You could make the argument that I could have gotten one more rocket off and damage would have been slightly higher, but it still wouldn't have reached 2.6 million. And either way, at the end of the rotation, you're still going to be out of Izzy ammo. So no matter what, you need to go back to manual reloads like I did. I think it's pretty clear that GLs win in both total damage output and DPS against rockets now. In certain situations, killing something with rocket spam is going to still be way better than using a GL. We ended up using this to kill Harpy back when we ran Garden Speeds, and even today, I think it's still probably a much better way to kill than ever using GLs. You bypass reloads, you spam rockets, and you get off your full rocket reserves much quicker. I would say for most players though, grenade launchers are going to be the new best thing to default to now. Unless you're doing low mans, speedruns, or other end game PVE challenges, I think GLs are going to be better for the average player. The other major factor is you don't need to worry about Wolfpack round RNG or having somebody run Galley since that person is going to be having lower damage. With the Wolfpack round nerf that came last year, Cataphract was also already the best option to kill certain bosses in a three-man setting. So any activity that has less than six players, like a dungeon, GLs are also going to be a much better option for. The major downside is that this makes Cataphract absolutely the best heavy in the game right now, because it's the only one that has bait and switch. And that means you need to farm trials to get a god roll or two. The two rolls that you want are obviously going to be Envious Assassin with bait and switch for spamming it against bosses, and then auto loading holster with bait and switch, which is going to be much better for things like day one raids and underpower boss bakes, if I had to guess. Spike nades also isn't necessary, and I would almost argue that getting something like augmented drum and other things that increase mag size might be better now. I would also say to keep an eye on compressed waveframe grenade launchers. Right now, they hit almost identical to adaptives. The big issue is neither of the two we have roll with bait and switch. But waveframes have been known to destroy certain bosses, so with the right hitbox, compressed waveframe GLs could be really useful for damage still. Also, one other major thing to take into account is that GLs are a bit worse when it comes to ammo economy. Finder bricks always give one rocket at minimum, but finders will also sometimes only give one to three GL shots. This depends on your finders, your scouts, scavengers, and obviously reserve mods. But either way, it's going to require more bricks to be collected in order to fill out your reserves on a GL. It's something to take into account, especially in boss encounters where you need multiple damage phases. TLDR or too long didn't watch, I guess. GLs and Cataphract are the new meta, so I would farm up some rolls in case we don't get a craftable one in final shape. Let me know your thoughts on the changes yesterday. As always, have a good one, guys. Peace.